Hey guys, welcome to this video. Haseev here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about A2P10 DLC registration process for your US and Canada based phone number in Go High Level. That's right. If you have a Go High Level account for your US or Canada based business, I'm going to show you how to get approved for A2P10 DLC registration. Maybe you're getting constantly rejected for A2P and you're not able to send out SMS to your leads prospects or clients. I'm going to give you the process. I'm going to give you the walkthrough and I'm going to show you the example of how I implement this whole process. The success rate for this campaign registration process is tremendous. Nine out of 10 times you'll get approved. And the 10th time when you're getting rejected, you may use like a different variation of the same process and you'll get approved. So I'm going to talk about all that. We are going to go to my screen and I'm going to show you the entire process. Let me tell you, this is not the easiest A2P 10 DLC registration process in the world. This involves a bit of work, but I wouldn't call it a difficult process. So let's just go to my screen so we can start talking about the process. All right, here we are on my screen. Now let's start talking about the process and all the steps involved. Here are the steps. The first one is loading this funnel in your account. So I will link this document in this video's description. So you guys can go ahead and uh, you know load this funnel. This basically has a funnel share link. And this, when you load this link in your browser, it will ask you to import this funnel in your Go High Level sub account, in one of your sub accounts. So make sure you load it into the appropriate sub account. Then number two is connect a subdomain appointments dot whatever your website is dot com to the account and then connect it with this funnel, right? So if you don't know how to create subdomains, how to connect subdomains to funnels, make sure you watch my video on that as well. Uh, you will see that link to the video in my description. So once that's done, once you have loaded the funnel, once you have connected the subdomain appointments dot whatever your website is dot com, and if your website is myawesomeagency.com, it'll be appointments dot myawesomeagency.com, right? So connect that subdomain to the funnel. And the next step is make sure to go to the funnel that you will load from here. Uh, make sure to go to the uh, booking page and adding a calendar, right? If you don't understand any of these process, I will give you the example in this video. So make sure to watch that, of course. So I'm just going to give you a, you know, a walkthrough here and then we're going to go to the example, right? So load this funnel, connect a subdomain to the funnel and add a calendar to the booking page. And then the fourth step will be copy the terms and conditions link and update the custom value. So when you load this funnel, there will be a custom value in this account. So you basically need to go ahead and uh, update the custom value in that. I will show you how to do that. And then you can start the A2P registration process. In this document, you will find all the other content or the copy you need for the funnel. And uh, so basically this is everything. Let's now go ahead and start working on our a2p registration process all right so this is the account we're going to work with and uh, if we go to settings from the dashboard and if we go to phone numbers we can see the a2p status has uh, failed or it's in incomplete so we need to uh, complete the process so let's go to the dashboard first of all let's go ahead and load the funnel right so i'll click on this link uh, it'll ask me which location i want to add this funnel to so i'll just have to select the sub account so in this case you may see it hidden but just load it in the ap appropriate sub account uh, that you need a2p registration for right so once you've loaded that and once you've go to sites you'll be able to see the funnel this is the funnel i'm talking about appointment booking funnel and uh, now the second step would be to connect a subdomain to this funnel so for that you need to go to settings and you need to go to domains then uh, you need to connect the domain, put appointment dot whatever your website is dot com, add the DNS records, and that's it. Boom. Uh, then you'll be able to see the appointments uh, subdomain connected over here. Maybe you'll, it'll be blurred for you because of because it's a real client and I don't want to open any information. So that's the uh, that's the subdomain we need. And what once that's done, edit select the default page as appointment booking funnel so when you load it it loads the funnel booking page so that's we're done with these two the third one will be add a calendar to the booking page so just let's just open this in the editor uh, I'm talking about the booking page so we need to make sure that a calendar is connected to this booking page right uh, so in order to do that I'll just need to go ahead and uh, select this element and see an a calendar is already there if not you can select your calendar if there's no calendar in your account just create one and just put it in here 
and make sure the redirect action is go to next step that's it so these are the first three steps this, the fourth one will be copy terms and conditions link so basically just need to copy the terms and conditions link settings go to custom values and uh, search for terms and edit put it here and update that's it so that's how you update the custom value and if you have loaded the funnel this custom value will be there so don't worry about creating recreating it if you recreated it, it's not going to work anyway. So that's all the four steps done. Now let's go ahead and start our ATP process. So we're going to go to phone numbers and we're going to go to start now. So the brand registration was rejected or I mean, it, it hasn't been done maybe. So we'll just go ahead and uh, fill out all these information. Uh, make sure all these information are authentic, you know. So I'll just uh, make a few edits, make sure the EIN number is authentic, the website URL is active, uh, business email is active, and then make sure to check all these information, make sure the uh, authorized representative information is also correct. Then you're going to go with the low volume standard one. I acknowledge. And then here you need to uh, start working on the uh, the use case, right? So this is your use case. Basically, just copy this, put it here. I'm going to bring it over here. So maybe it will be blurred. That's why you won't see it. But this will be your business name. And make sure, make sure the URL is the same from the domain so i'll just have to copy it so when you're putting the link here you need to make sure that this link works otherwise the a2p will fail so basically uh just copy it from the document you just need to change the business name and uh, the url that's it and everything else stays the same and then go ahead and do it for the sample message one as well and all i need to change is the business name and here i need to give it a like a valid date uh, maybe a valid time and that's it go ahead and do it for the sample message two as well and i can copy and paste from the first sample message just for the date and time and here you need to just select messages will include phone numbers because they won't include embedded links so how do leads opt-in so that's the opt-in use case or the opt-in uh, verbiage so i'll just copy it here and paste it put the link here so i'll just type it real quick and uh, yeah nothing else to change in this one and just need to do it for the last one which is thank you for scheduling with that's it okay so now i will just submit this and this should work and that's that's all you need to do like i said this is not a difficult process but this is not the easiest process either uh, it just involves a bit of work and once you do it successfully, it's totally going to pay off and your campaign will be approved in no time. So hopefully this video helped. And of course, I will link this document in my video's description so you guys can go ahead and copy the verbiage and also load this uh, funnel that I shared for appointment booking to use it on the use case. So um, hopefully this video helped and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.